All right, we're gonna run an experiment, figure out just how long I can get this fuel, denatured alcohol, to burn in the Swedish Army Tranja surplus stove. And what I'm using to measure is a standard 35 millimeter plastic case. I don't know the approximate capacity of it even, maybe, maybe an ounce and a half, two ounces. So I've got my stopwatch, my measurer, my fuel, and my stove. So let's get started. Fill it right up to the line. Right down the middle. Let that soak up. Move this stuff far out of the way because we're going to be flaming here in just a second. <clears throat> the lights, can you still see? Yes. Here we go. And we're off. We'll let it go all the way down. Then we'll call the time. That's it. Thirteen forty-two. This much fuel. Not bad. And you can see what a dent we put in the fuel bottle. Now I'm adding a cold stove to the mix. At 334, it was lit. Same amount of fuel. Like I said, the stove has been outside where it's approximately 20 degrees. Uh, so it's cold to the touch. Let's see if that affects the burn times. All right, so stove one is completely out at 12.36. It's a minute less burn time <clears throat> with a warm stove. So clearly, I'll need to work on this some more to come up with some averages. Looks like this one's going to go just over 11 minutes. It's on its last, last sputters here. We're off for our final test. Okay, so stove on the left is having problems in 10 minutes. Maybe it's the stove. Stove on the right still going strong. Well, now stove two is in the home stretch. Interesting. I would have thought as they got hotter, the burn times would get longer. 
but in fact, the warmer they get, the burn times get shorter. Coming up on 12 minutes. It'll be the shortest burn yet. And there it was, 12:14. Still two is out.